I don't think you should be sitting right there. Yep, I knew someone's going. Another damn reptile. Oh, YouTube Funk Nation, it's your boy Funk, and we're back with episode four of The Mandalorian. So I'm looking forward to this one. I want to see what is Bo-Katan's mindset at this point. She has not taken off her helmet. She's part of that little hidden area where all the Mandalorians are located, and she might just say f*** it and do south, but maybe something in her mind is saying that she actually believes the old ways again, based off seeing what she saw which i'm mad she ain't said shit she better tell them that she saw a mythosaur down in the waters of mandalore she just keeping that shit to herself i don't know what the underlining plot twist is going to be with that she need to tell somebody or she got her own agenda or something but i don't know let's go ahead and get into it. one of the shortest episodes of the mandalorian episode four chapter 20 the foundling let's go oh wow Almost look like the Grand Canyon. Oh, so what they training? Again, again. Why the theme sound like Winner. that motif sounds like Game of Thrones? Just that da 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 da. Bro, these camera angles look amazing with the, you know, with them training. Bo Katan just watching. Yeah, see, look, the Foundling. Roll credits. Grogu. Oh, these not rocks. I thought I thought Grogu was moving it. Damn crab. Yeah. <laughs> Put down the rocks, kid. Ain't no rock. It's time that you learn with the other foundlings. There's a crab. Over. I'm gonna need you to focus. Yeah, get him away from that water for another alligator type serpent comes up out of there. Next challenger. <laughs> That's not fair. Are you sure this is a good idea? You must learn. Judge. <laughs> they like what? He is too small. I am his ward. Proceed. What weapon? Let the challenge decide. Darts. Bring the training darts. <laughs> How's this gonna go? Why doesn't he wear a helmet? He is too young to speak the creed. Ah. Then he's too young to fight. One does not speak unless one knows. Well, I know. Oh my God, the kid. Fighters, arm yourselves. Don't worry. My dad was the same way. He's just proud of you. You take it easy on him, kid. <laughs> you may fire the darts in any order. One round, highest score wins. Squeeze your fist to launch the darts. Mm. You'll be fine. Don't fuck around and hit nobody. <laughs> Begin. Point. Huh. Don't look at me, look at him. Ready. Begin. Point. I've seen what you can do. Show them. Come on, now that's what he's gonna show him. He's gonna jump him. Pow, pow, pow. Pow, pow, pow. <laughs> Winner. There you go. One doesn't speak unless one knows. <laughs> the music was nice, though. Great job, kid. Yep, good job. I don't think you should be sitting right there. Yep, I knew someone was going. Another damn reptile. Oh! Follow it to its lair. It's always a goddamn reptile. He just sat there. Yeah, all these, bro, these angles, these camera angles. These some awesome shots. Another one. Oh, is this is this jetpack about to go out? He out of fuel? Oh, that means they are too far. What? 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 Have enough. I'm out of fuel. Yeah. What that Bo Katan? Bo Katan, yeah. That is a nice shot, man. Bro, <laughs> yo, they doing a good job with season three. The foundling. The heat waves off of that to the transition of the Mandalorian was nice. I kept a high altitude and followed it to its lair. We should muster up a hunting party and go after him. I scouted where it lives and mapped the location. It flew a long way. The mountains are too high. If we use jetpacks, the beast will hear. I'll fly to the foothills and scale the rest of the way on foot. I'll join you. Baz Vizsla, and join the Shriekhawk training team to accompany you. Come on, John Fabro. You are too young to join them. No, he is not. All in good time. You have no idea what he been through. <laughs> if you wish to become a Mandalorian, there is much work to attend to. 
<laughs> Where he walks. He's like, <laughs> that walk. This is the forge. We all begin as raw ore. I wonder if they gonna actually give him a helmet. That'd be sick. The forge can reveal weaknesses. What are you forging? Oh, flashback. Anakin. Oh. oh, we saw this already. Are they gonna show us more? The elevator! Get the young into Kellerin! Go! So is this where um Everything's gonna be alright, kid. Who is this? Yeah, just knock him off. You ain't got time for that. Just push him off. Well, he better not get hit by a road fucking laser. Okay. Oh my God. Force push. Yo, I'm liking we get another flashback, but who is he taking them to? Because only a select few knew about him. Even Luke didn't really know about him. Oh my God, the fire. Oh my God. Yo, yeah, hop over there and get up out of there. The visual, they, the way they showing everything. So where is he taking them? Yes, this episode three vibes, man. Like, I'm talking about the way it's filmed. Even the sound design. I got a feeling he's about to die. Oh, <laughs> that was a nice little cut. Now y'all just need to be inconspicuous. Don't worry, we're gonna meet up with some friends of mine. If they ain't dead already. Yo, that looks like the ship that uh, Padme was on. They're right behind me. Take the ship, it's sealed and ready to go. I was like, it, that looked just like, yeah. But Padme is already, Padme is about to die or is already dead at this point. No, she hadn't died yet. It's not showing us, you gonna stop it there? I wanna know more. Yeah, Padme would have been on the way to Musafar, it I think. It is a tradition in our culture. Mandalorian steel shall keep you safe as you grow stronger. Foundling Grogu. Mm. We'll continue on foot from here. At least some amazing, beautiful shots. It's literally a Western. Now, this is a Western. The target is on the top of this peak. We sleep out of line of sight and climb at first light. How do you eat when other people are around? When you get your food, you go off to find a place where you can take off your helmet. You are the leader of the war party. You have the honor of staying by the fire. <laughs> not used to this. Now, our hope is that the child is still alive, so we have to make sure not to fire on the raptor. It will kill the foundling if attacked. Our best bet is stealth. I sound familiar. That lick in that music sounds familiar, like I heard it somewhere else. Huh. Vertical Limit. Is that the name of that movie that I seen? It's called Vertical Limit. Or Mission Impossible 2. I don't know. I'm thinking all the rock climbing moments that look familiar. I'm just surprised she can stand vertical. Like, she just take her hands off the rock and just. Lean back with it. Like, how? <laughs> he got a strong upper lower torso. Oh, it helped. That motherfucker was probably dead. That was, a, was that his helmet? It's not here. Let's find the kid. I see a heat source there. Wait until we clear the area. He's my son. Oh, it's a trap. I think this is a trap. Ragnar! No, uh, it's probably a baby. Yeah. Shit. Whoa. 
Oh! 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 What just happened? Did he take both of them? Wow! Yo, how did they even do this? This looks so realistic. Oh, did y'all get him in the eye? Oh, he has no fuel, remember? Oh, he barely made it. Did they, did, he, did it drop it? Oh, no! Boo! Yeah, go straight down! Catch him! Go! Before you run out of fuel. Oh, I would have been bad. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Y'all killed this mother! The baby's gonna die! Y'all, baby! <laughs> Oh. I'm okay, Dad. Thank you. Now they just became best friends. This is the way. Because they used to be bumping head, but because he saved his son, now they like this. But y'all did made them little babies motherless. Now what they gonna do? Y'all killed this mother. They were just trying to survive. <laughs> that was a good action scene, though. That was really nice. Down pterodactyl swallowed your ass and then regurgitated you. Oh, that was that had to be. <laughs> oh, Katan Kreeves, you have done the highest honor of the creed, saving a foundling. This is the way. This is the way. And we have brought you three more foundlings in need of care and training. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, never mind. Take that back. You're in need of a repair. Come with me. They can raise them to fight for them. Shall I inlay the signet of the night owl? Would it be acceptable to wear one pauldron of the night owl and another with the mythosaur? The mythosaur belongs to all Mandalorians. It is always acceptable to wear. I would like that. Well, are you going to tell her what you saw, man? You going to tell her you saw a mythosaur? That's fucked up. You just going to keep that shit to yourself. What would you say if I told you I saw one? Finally! Beneath the living waters on Mandalore. When you choose to walk the way of the Mandalore, you will see many things. This was real. But it was real. This is the way. Okay, so it wasn't a hidden agenda. She just really didn't know what to do about it. She was really didn't know what to say. Oh, Carl Weathers directed this. That's what's up. No wonder it was so awesome. Did he direct the other ones? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. This was a great episode. All the visuals and the shots were amazing. And Bo-Katan finally told someone what she saw. Jesus Christ, that's all I wanted. I really enjoyed this episode. Even though most of the episode was primarily over Don Favreau's character, his son being taken by a, we're just going to call it a pterodactyl. Most of the episode was Bo-Katan leading this party to save this foundling that has been taken by a pterodactyl or whatever form of reptile that this thing was on this Show. But everybody is giving Bo Katan praise because she's doing like everything that a Mandalorian should do. Leading the party, she have a plan, they execute the plan, everybody has a part in this, and they doing their thing. Finally, Bo Katan tells somebody that she saw a mythosaur. But my thing was I didn't know if she was like keeping it to herself for later. No, she legitimately didn't know how to feel about it or to tell anybody about it because she didn't know what to think about it. <laughs> You know, so this is, like I said, when she first started, this is a whole new focus and understanding the old ways. So this is awesome. You do see a little bit of Grogu doing his thing and, you know, having faith in himself. As we can see, he got the three shots off when he did the flip back and forth. So that was nice. I had a great time with it. Looking forward to the next episode. What did y'all like about this episode of The Mandalorian? Put it in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Make sure you tell somebody you love them and I'll see y'all on the next video or stream. Dude.